Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you guys how to make corn tortillas. So in case you guys want to know how to make this super easy and delicious recipe, just stay tuned and I'll show you how. Alrighty guys, so let's get started with our ingredients. So for this recipe we're going to need 2 cups of instant corn masa flour, 1 and 3 fourths of a cup of warm water, and 1 fourth of a teaspoon of salt. So these are our ingredients, now let's get started. Alrighty guys, so first we're going to start by mixing our masa. Inner salt so just mix it together and then slowly we're going to add our water and just keep adding the water until our masa is completely wet So now just knead your masa for about five minutes. Your masa should be nice and soft. All right, so once your, your masa is fully kneaded, you should be able to form a small ball like that. And now we're just going to cover it with a damp cloth and let it rest for about 20 minutes. The damp cloth is going to um, protect our dough And I'm going to transfer it from my bowl because all my big towels are dirty. So I'm just going to transfer it in here. And the damp cloth is going to keep our dough soft and moist. So we're just going to let it rest for 20 minutes. All right, so after 20 minutes, we're going to preheat our comal or our frying pan where we're going to be cooking our tortillas. So we're going to set it at medium high heat. All right, so while that's preheating, we can start working on our tortillas. I'm just going to grab my dough. And we're going to grab, okay, so it depends on how big you want your tortillas. It depends on how much dough you're going to use. So I'm going to grab them like this much, okay? And just create your bowl, just like that, okay? And now I'm going to press it on my tortilla press. Switch it over. Okay, guys, so grabbing your golf size ball size of dough, we're going to place it off the center. Because if you place it on the center, I feel like this side has so much more pressure that your tortillas come out uneven. So one side is flatter than the other. So now we're just going to place it like that. Place your other plastic wrap on top. Press it down and press down all the way. Okay. Beautiful. And now just take your tortilla out of the plastic. Just be gentle. And now we are ready to cook our tortilla. Your comal or your frying pan should be hot enough. So now we're just going to place our tortilla. You should be able to um, hear the sizzle. And now we're just going to cook it for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, we're going to flip it over and cook for another 30 seconds. And then we're going to flip it back. All right, so after 30 seconds, you should be able to move your tortilla around. And that's how you know it's done. So now we're just going to flip it over, cook it for another 30 seconds. And at this point, you can press it down. If you have one of those tortilla uh, pressers, you can use it to press it down. Or just use your fingers, see if you can handle the heat. So now flip it over and let that cook for another 30 seconds. And at this point, you can see the air in the tortilla. And that's gonna tell you that your tortilla is done. If you don't have a tortilla press, don't worry because you can still make your tortillas. Just make sure that you have something that's flat, that's evenly flat. You're still going to need two pieces of plastic. Just do the same thing, grab your golf size of bowl, 
golf size ball spill. <laughs> you know what I mean. Just grab it, press it down, and then with your pan or your plate, just make sure that it is flat. Press it down, all the way down. And then once you get it to the, the size, I like to use my hand like that and just make sure that it's even. Okay, and then that's it. Repeat the same process. It is done. So now we're gonna remove it from the heat and place it in a servilleta. Just make sure that your tortillas stay covered so like that it can be soft. Okay guys, so after you're done making your tortillas, let them rest for about five to 10 minutes and then by now you should be able to enjoy them. They're still nice and warm. You, you're able to make some rolled tacos. You would roll them like that, make quesadillas, or just eat them, you know, like that with your, um, your favorite foods. So I'm going to enjoy it with some queso fresco and some salsa. So I'm just going to add some queso fresco. And some salsa. Fresh tortillas are just perfect with anything. So I'm just going to make my little taquito and enjoy it. Mm. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part. Potato. Yes, we are ready. Make him his burrito. Oh, here. Okay, we got my burrito here. Okay, ready? Cheers. Mmm, nothing like homemade tortillas. Mmm, so good. How is it? How is it? Yummy. Alrighty guys, and there you have it, how to make corn tortillas. I hope you guys had enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias, and also if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys at my next video. Bye. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh no, no. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, eres perfecta.